Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Holly Jolly Kitchen. My name is Sprinkles the Elf. Here in the kitchen, I help Chef Jolly by sprinkling a little of this and a little of that into every yummy treat we make. Hey, I have an idea. Would all of you like to be helper elves here in the kitchen with me? Yes. Sprinkalicious. Before we get busy baking, everyone stand up and let's sing a fa la la fantastic song together. Everyone sing with me. That was so much fun. You sing like the best Christmas carolers ever. Now, Chef Jolly has two rules for the elves who work in her kitchen. The first rule is to be kind. Let me hear you say that with me. Be, be kind. kind. That's it. And kitchen rule number two is to be safe. Let me hear you say that with me. Be, be safe. safe. Great. One way we can be safe is by washing our hands before we start baking. Let me see you wash your little elf hands like this. They look nice and clean. Now, let's pat, pat, pat them dry and put them in our laps. Do that with me. Pat, 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 pat them, them dry and, and put, put them, them in, in our laps. laps. Perfect. Now, helper elves, let's get to baking. Today's first order is from Mr. Jolly. Wait a holly jolly minute. This order is from Chef Jolly's husband? Oh, ginger snaps. If I don't get this order right, this could be very bad. He needs us to make 100 bell cookies that shine bright for his Christmas party tonight. 100 cookies? Shimmering snowflakes, that's a lot. How will I ever get that many cookies made in time? Helper elves, I don't think I can do this without your help. Will you help me make all of these cookies? Yes. Oh, good. Chef Jolly started this recipe by baking a few yummy cookies for us. Now we just need to make these cookies shine bright and then get more cookies baking. We will have to hurry to get them ready for tonight. Mr. Jolly said he wanted these bells to shine bright. And step three says, spread icing and make the bells shine bright with gold sprinkles. That sounds nice, but these bells are not going to shine bright with just a few sprinkles. I need something to make them really shine. Hmm, helper elves. Do you see anything gold and shiny that we could use to make these cookies shine bright? Yes. Oh, Holly Jolly. This tinsel is perfect. If we wrap our cookies in this golden goodness, they will shine so bright. Helper elves, 
pretend to wrap tinsel around your cookies too. Here we go. This is going to be just right. These bells will be shining tonight. Your cookies are looking bright and shiny too. Woo! We made those cookies shine bright in record time. I can't wait to show Chef Jolly how fast we're making these bells shine. To let Chef Jolly know we're ready for her to see the order, we wave our hands and say, ta-da! On the count of three, let's all wave our hands and say, ta-da! One, two, three. Ta-da! Holly Jolly, Sprinkles! I hear Mr. Jolly sent you quite a big order for our party tonight. I can't wait to see how things are going so far. Oh, and I see you have some extra elves who are helping you today. How fall la la fantastic. Now, let's see. Oh my, um, did you put gold tinsel from the Christmas tree onto the cookies? What happened to the icing and gold sprinkles I left for you? Hmm, that's very creative, Sprinkles. But our party guests can't eat cookies with tinsel on them. Mr. Jolly wants these cookies to shine bright, but with the gold sprinkles that our guests can eat. We want them to be yummy in their tummies. So let's look back at the recipe for shine bright bell cookies and see where things went wrong. Hmm, mix the dough, check. Cut and bake the cookies. Check. Oh, and um, spread icing and make the bells shine bright with gold sprinkles. Hmm, sprinkles, I don't see any gold tinsel anywhere on this recipe. I think I know what happened, and I have a story that can help fix this problem. Elves, get ready to hear a story from the Bible by clicking on your listening ears. Click, click, click. and don't forget to put on your special eyes. Zoop, zoop, zoop! Holly jolly! Now you're ready! God sent an angel named Gabriel to visit Mary. Mary had never seen an angel before, so she was scared. Can everyone listening make a scared face? The angel told Mary that she did not need to be afraid. He told her that God loved her and he had a very special task for her. The angel told her that she was going to have a very special baby. The baby was God's son. His name was Jesus. Helper elves, let me see you rock a baby and say, Baby Jesus. Baby Jesus. That's it. Now Mary said, but how can this happen? The angel Gabriel told her, God can do anything. God sent baby Jesus to the world so that he could be our savior. And that's something only God can do. Mary got ready and hurried to her cousin Elizabeth's house. When Mary greeted her, the baby in Elizabeth's tummy jumped for joy. Elizabeth told Mary, God has blessed you and blessed is the child you will have. Elves, I want you to know the same thing that Mary and Elizabeth knew that God can do anything. Let me hear your holly jolliest voices say this after me. God, God can do, can do anything. Anything. You got it. Mary was scared and unsure how she was going to have God's special son, Jesus. But God did what seemed impossible because he can do anything. Sprinkles, I know you were scared that the cookies wouldn't be bright enough with gold sprinkles and you were worried you wouldn't get all 100 cookies ready before the big party. But I want you to remember that God can do anything. He has already given you the helpers and the ingredients you need for the big order. I can't wait to see the cookies shine bright at the party tonight.
With God helping you, I know you and your helper elves will do a dandy job. Snickertoodles! Thank you, Chef Jolly. Wow, even though Mary was scared and not sure how things would happen, God promised that she would have his son, Jesus, and that he would be the savior of the world. If God did that, God can do anything. Let me hear you say this after me. God. God. Can do. Can do. Anything. Anything. I was scared we wouldn't get all 100 bell cookies made. And I was scared the icing and sprinkles wouldn't make the cookies shine bright enough. But now we get another chance to make these bells the yummiest and shiniest cookies ever. I'm so excited, I can hardly contain myself. So let's all stand up and sing a song to celebrate. God sent his son, he's the savior of the world. And now we can call him friend. God sent his son, he's the savior of the world. And now we can call him friend. Jesus, Savior, Jesus, Savior, we will tell everyone. Jesus, Savior, Jesus, Savior, he's the Savior of the world. Savior in his son he's the savior of the world and now we can call him friend god sent his son he's the savior of the world and now we can call him friend jesus savior jesus savior. You sounded great. Okie dokie elves, let's start over. First, we have to mix up a new batch of dough. Everybody, grab your bowl. We'll need a sprinkle of this and a sprinkle of that. Now, everybody, grab your spoon. Let me see you stir really fast. Now let's stir slow. This dough is getting thick, which means it's ready to go. Jolly job, everyone. On the count of three, let's plop our dough right out of the bowl. One, two, three, plop. Now it's time to roll the dough. Everyone, get out your rolling pins and roll with me. Let's roll it with our rolling pins. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Holly jolly, our dough is ready. And now we need to find our cookie cutter. Can you help me find it? Yes. Is this my bell cookie cutter? No. Hmm, how about this one? Is this the bell? 
No! Okay, what about this one? Is this the one we're looking for? Yes! Jolly Jingle Hopper, you found it! Pretend to press the cookie cutter into the dough with me. Cookie cutters, cookie cutters, oh what fun! Look, we're making cookies, one by one. Great job, elves! I'll put these cookies right into the oven to bake, just like our recipe says to do. While we wait, why don't we practice remembering God's Word? You know what God's Word is, don't you? The Bible! That's right! At Christmas, we get gifts like toys and yummy cookies. But the Bible tells us that God has given us the best gift ever. It's His Son, Jesus. Let me hear you say this after me. Thanks be. Thanks be. To God. To God. For His gift. For His gift. That is too wonderful. That is too wonderful. For words. Four words. 2 Corinthians 9.15 2 Corinthians 9.15 Good job! The gift of Jesus is so wonderful! When we give Mr. Jolly his shiny bright bell cookies, we can tell him all about God's best gift, Jesus! Elves, do you smell that? It smells like the cookies are ready! Yippee Skippy! Our cookies are done! Let's blow on them to cool them off. Now they're ready! And what does our recipe say to do next? It says, spread icing and make the bell shine bright with gold sprinkles. So everyone, spread on your icing! looks great. Now let's shake some gold sprinkles on to make it shine. Here we go. Shakey shake shake. <gasps> we did it. And look how it shines. Helper elves, I'm going to take the rest of these yummy bell cookies to Chef Jolly and let her make them shine bright while I'll bake many more. Thank you for all of your help in the kitchen today. Before saying so long, let me hear you say what Chef Jolly taught us one more time. Repeat this after me. God. God. Can do. Can do. Anything. Anything. You sound elf-tastic. I hope you have a holly jolly rest of your day and I can't wait to have you back in the kitchen soon. Bye.